Hey, headed outside, planning to cook something? Not sure which spices to pack along to make your meal great? Well, come along, because we are gonna dig into the pantry and I'm gonna tell you what are the best spices to bring along for your trek, and also some easy ways to pack them up. Let's do it. Hey, yo, Chef Corso, Outdoor Eats. I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks, and I am still in the Northwest bushes. Great place to be. But we are talking spices today, and a lot of you guys out there have asked some really good questions, both in the comments and also at workshops, about what are the best spices to pack along, both for a long-haul backpacking trip and also what to outfit your rig with if you do have a little bit more space. So we're gonna cover both of those, plus some helpful packing tips along the way. And if you are new to me, Chef Corso, or, or Outdoor Eats, check out OutdoorEats.com. We've got fast, easy, and tasty recipes for you already in 30 minutes or less, 10 ingredients or less, mindful of pack weight and volume. Super tasty because I want you to elevate your meals when you're going outside. But as you can see, we have got quite a few options here. And first off, I am not suggesting you take all of these on every trip. That just doesn't make any sense. But what we do have here is four tiers. So we have tier one, which is kind of the basic model. Tier two, get a little bit fancy. Tier three, if you really want to add some flavor. And tier four, for some options that, you know, might or are, and tier four for some options that, you know, maybe you just use every once in a while. Pun warning, let's spice this thing up. All right, so this is tier one. This is the basic, if you are going on a backpacking trip, these are the few things that I consider taking along as far as the basics. So one is salt. Salt is a great thing. Two is oil. And oftentimes I'll use olive oil or just a neutral oil, but uh, most things work pretty well. We've also have some acid. So you could either take a neutral vinegar, like a rice wine vinegar or white vinegar, or pack a lemon or lime. So even if you're not cooking a, a bunch of crazy meals, a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of salt will go a long way into uh, creating a really, really tasty bowl. And then for me, I figured out that I love spice just a little bit. So I always pack along at least a little bit of sriracha, some tapatio packets, but if you don't like spice, then don't take it. So that way you only have probably three things as your base. So you have salt, oil, and vinegar. So now moving over to tier two. So we're getting into a little bit, little bit fun stuff over here. So in tier two, we have Italian seasoning. We've got ginger powder. We've got chili powder and Indian curry powder. Also have some garlic powder. And I like the powder rather than the dust. Just think it adds a better flavor. And then we have some packets. So I usually pack along some mayo and mustard packets, whether that's Dijon or yellow. We've, and we have soy sauce packets or any of the Asian sauce packets are really, really great to use. Or if you don't want to take along liquid is you can use some soy sauce powder. This is a special order, but can uh, work for this tier two. And again, for this tier two, my suggestion is not to take all of this because you might not need all of this, but these are some really great base spice mixes in order to start to, to liven up your meals. But if I'm not cooking Indian, then I'm not taking this. Or if I'm not cooking, you know, maybe some Asian or don't want to add this to oatmeal, I'm not taking this. So my meal plan really dictates what kind of spices that I bring along. So if I'm making, you know, a, a Italian, so I've got some Italian seasoning, some garlic powder, I might use some chili flake, or if I'm making Mexican, I might just have some hot sauce and some chili powder. But this for me is a great tier two to start to add some flavor to your meals without going too nuts.
All right, we're moving down the trail here to tier three. So this is some more specialized ingredients and some more specialized flavors that are still really tasty and really available. But for me, um, don't come on every single trip. We've got some chili flake, we've got some dried oregano, we've got some ground cumin, which can be great for some Cuban dishes. We've got cinnamon, we've got Thai curry paste, Old Bay seasoning, which is one of my favorites. We also have some different vinegars over here. So this is where you can get a little bit fancy or a little bit um, more involved in your dishes. And this is a, a dark vinegar, a black or balsamic. Adding some sesame oil instead of just a neutral oil can really liven up that ramen and uh, add some really great tasty flavor. Um, also some other vinegars. And you'll notice here, this is sort of an interesting one that I've noticed for my trips. This is black pepper. Black pepper is actually farther down the spectrum for me as far as what spice as I bring along. Sure, it is lightweight and you can, uh, you, sure, it is lightweight and you can bring it along, but for me, it, it actually doesn't add too much to the to the dishes that, that I'm creating for, for outdoor cooking, but you could always add pepper if you like, but oftentimes I just keep it out because I've got some other stuff going on. And another note on spices. Quality of spices is really, really important. If you can, try to find your spices not at the grocery store. Why? Because they've been probably sitting there for a long time, they've lost their flavor, they're a little bit dead, they're a little bit drab, and there's other options out there. So I really love a couple options that are mail order or a quick little field trip. One is World Spice Merchants down in Pike Place. They have some really, really great fresh spice blends, very little salt in them, and they are so, so good. But if you are on a national scale, check out Penzi's or check out your local spice shop. They probably have some really great options. They're super fun to talk to. They're really passionate about helping you make some great meals. So check them out as well. But spice quality and the, the age of spices is really, really important as well as checking the ingredient listing and making sure salt is not the number one ingredient for some of these chili powders, curry powders, or, or other things. If you are doing a seasoned spice blend, then sure, salt's probably gonna be number one, but make sure you check it out so you get actual spices rather than just a bunch of salt. All right, we are now at tier four. Very fancy, very interesting additions of flavor here, but also really, really awesome depending on your dish. So we've got Jamaican jerk seasoning, smoked paprika, za'atar seasoning, or sumac if you wanna add some acid without adding some liquid or packing a lime. You can also pack some furikake, a Japanese seasoning to put on some rice dishes, or everything bagel spice is really great for the morning. You can make a smashed avocado toast. Yeah, you can eat that on the trail. But these are a little bit more specialized, but still really, really great to consider for your dishes. And as you've noticed here for our spice spectrum here, I've got a lot of different bottles. So that is one excellent tip I can give you is reuse some green juice bottles. I've only purchased about a couple of these Nalgene bottles and the rest I've found uh, throughout the travel. So we've got drink tab containers that are really great for dry spices, uh, spice tins of different sizes, old juice shot containers. You could even reuse these containers as well. You could obviously use Ziplocs and put them all together. But having some bottles available to put your spices in is really, really helpful in order to pack them up nice. So then once you have your, your recipe all ready and uh, it's ready to pack up and got all your spices in your bottles and your liquids in your things, then you can easily pack them up in a packing tote, a old toiletry bag to keep nice and organized. I love putting one meal or one day in one bag just to help keep myself organized, especially if you're sharing the load as far as equipment and gear, because that way Janie has day two, you have day one, and Frank has day three, and you're all sharing the load for tasty meals outdoors. But as a recap, I am not suggesting you take all of these bottles on every single trip. Again, if you have a rig, then you can probably put together a dozen of these, both in the spice category and also in the oil vinegar category to have a really, really stock pantry to cook up just about anything and make it super, super tasty. But for a backpacking trip, just focus on what flavors you're, you're going to cook. So if that's Italian and Mexican, then use some spices that will help complement that. And maybe a, a few sauce packets or a little bit of vinegar or lime or lemon to, to really help make that pop. But hope this is helpful. 
for which spices to pack up for your rig or your backpack. But get out there. Boca boca.